So Marjorie Taylor Greene continues to show that she's maybe the worst member in the entire Congress in the United States, because this time she attacked the daughter. She mocked the daughter of another sitting Congresswoman. Now, I want to play you a couple videos and then give you some of the backstory. Both of these videos went viral on Twitter. So in the first video there, you see Congresswoman Marie Newman, she's an Illinois Democrat, a progressive, putting up a trans flag in her office, which is right across the hall from Marjorie Taylor Greene. And basically, Marie Newman did that as a statement to say that my neighbor across the hall doesn't support rights for transgender people. And as a response to that, I want to let it be known that my office is 100% welcoming of trans people. And then in the following clip, posted by Marjorie Taylor Greene, you see her putting up a sign on her office wall, again, right across the hall from Marie Newman, that basically says there are two genders, male and female, quote unquote, trust the science. And both, you know, she mocks Marie Newman's like hand, hand wiping motion. And those are the two videos. But the crucial factor here is not only that Marjorie Taylor Greene is proud about fighting against basic human rights, but that she's mocking the daughter of Marie Newman. Earlier that day, Marie Newman basically went up on the Congress floor talking about a new bill called the Equality Act, which would give more rights and more equality to transgender individuals. And she basically said, without the Equality Act, millions of Americans like my daughter can be denied housing and education and more simply because they identify as transgender. And then Marjorie Taylor Greene responds directly to this. Remember, this is before the trans flag and the, you know, the anti-trans sign that Marjorie Taylor Green puts up. She says, as mothers, we all love and support our children, but your biological son does not belong in my daughter's bathrooms, locker rooms, and sports teams. Just absolutely ghoulish. Marjorie Taylor Green knows that this is not only ideological here. Yeah, it's ideological. Yeah, Marjorie Taylor Green is just wrong because trans rights are human rights. We 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 believe that on this channel. I am this is not a turfy channel, but like it, it crosses the line from general Republican evil to just absolute awful ghoulery to be like your specific child actually isn't who they identify as. And I'm going to fight against their rights and I'm going to fight against your child because your child is dangerous to my child. That's what she's doing there. She's basically saying to Marie Newman, blasting her on Twitter, saying your daughter isn't actually a daughter. My daughter is a real daughter and I need to protect her. And that's like this sort of language that is being mobilized by a lot of conservatives right now who are trying to make this about protecting women's rights, protecting women in sports, protecting women in bathrooms and these sorts of things. And so this is what it's about. When she put up that sign across from Marie Newman's room, her office in Congress, she wasn't just putting that up as a general, you know, ideological statement, ugly as it is. That was a personal attack on the daughter of of that congresswoman, a personal attack, attacking her child, unacceptable, utterly unacceptable. It's one thing to have disagreements. It's one thing for Marjorie Taylor Greene to stupidly vote against this very good bill. I'm sure lots of Republicans are going to vote against it, but none of those people, at least thus far, have gone and attacked Marie Newman's children. And that's where it crosses the line. And Adam Kinzinger, a fellow Republican to Marjorie Taylor Greene, basically called her out on this after she put up that sign. And he says, this is sad and I'm sorry this happened. Representative Newman's daughter is transgender. And this video and tweet represents the hate and fame driven politics of self-promotion at all evil cost. This garbage must end in order to hashtag restore our GOP. Now, look, I'm not going to give Kinzinger any cookies for doing the basic minimum here. 
He's one of the few anti-Trump Republicans, though, and he voted, you know, for impeachment. He voted to expel Marjorie Taylor Greene. And so his whole narrative is if we want the Republican Party to not literally be like a voice for hate and against democracy, then we have to get rid of people like Trump and Marjorie Taylor Greene. And he's right. People like her have no place in Congress. Again, this isn't just about viewpoints. I find Marjorie Taylor Greene's viewpoints abhorrent. I do. But she votes based on her views and based on her constituents. And it may be the case that her constituents have troubling views on this matter, too. But where she crosses the line and where she must be expelled is that she creates a hostile and unwelcoming work environment for her own colleagues, whether that was her support basically for January 6th or whether it's basically mocking the children of her colleagues, she just doesn't belong there. She's already been removed from her committees. All she has time to do is basically mock people's kids on Twitter, rip the bandaid off and throw her out. Republicans, this is an easy one. I've talked about this before. Your district is pretty red. You'll probably get another Republican. Get rid of her and let's all move on from this awful human being.